Bordeaux was officially included on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites as of the 28th of June 2007. This distinction recognises the beauty and unity of style of Bordeaux's architectural heritage, which has developed harmoniously over the centuries and remained remarkably well preserved. This panoramic view across the River Garonne over the city of Bordeaux shows the Place de la Bourse Renaissance buildings, which impress with their symmetry and grandiose architecture. Bordeaux real estate heritage is rich and varied. The renovation and maintenance of old buildings, be they within the city limits, or in the chateau and manors of the surrounding countryside, is the livelihood of a number of specialised craftsmen's guilds. Stonework and ironwork are the skills necessary for the restoration of old facades. Bordeaux limestone, airy, porous and golden in tint, is the main factor explaining the city's light. Bordeaux has nearly 350 classified buildings and buildings listed as historic monuments including three religious World Heritage buildings since 1998 as part of the roots of Santiago de Compostela in France. Although it has a magnificent collection of well-preserved 18th century buildings, Bordeaux owes its beauty to architects spanning a number of periods. The internationally renowned wine capital lies some 60 miles from the sea at the head of the Gironde estuary. For the many thousands of cruise passengers who arrive every year, their first sight of the city is the fine 18th century facade alongside which their ship will berth. The heart of the capital of Aquitaine and the banks of the Garonne River have been restored to their former splendour after several years of major public works. The Port de Bourgogne sits at the end of Victor Huger Avenue, where one of the city's gates once stood. The Saint André Cathedral is the biggest church in Bordeaux and was declared part of the Santiago Pilgrims World Heritage. This is where the future King of France, Louis VII, married his fiancée, Eleanor of Aquitaine, in the 12th century. The cathedral has two facades, northern and southern, at both ends of the transept. The supreme exterior part of the cathedral is richly ornamented with sculpture. The 15th century Pei Berlin Tower dominates the ensemble of Saint André Cathedral. During the first centuries of English domination, from 1154 to 1453, Bordeaux was prosperous, and it was soon evident that the cathedral was too small. The construction began when Bertrand de Gott, future Pope Clement V, was Archbishop of Bordeaux between 1300 and 1305. Construction resumed when English troops had been driven out. Due to lack of money, when it was time to build the new nave, it was decided not to demolish the old nave, but to link as best as possible the two existing parts of the building. The cathedral is 124 metres long by 18 metres wide at the transept, 23 metres high in the nave and 29 metres high in the chancel. It's classified as a historic landmark and has been part of the UNESCO World Heritage since 1998. Saint André Cathedral is a structure made of two different sections. A large 13th century Roman style single and large nave and a high Gothic style chancel, considered to be one of the most beautiful specimens in that style. The organ was built by Danion Gonzalez. The Place de Quinsons is the second largest city square in the European Union. The first tramway line of Bordeaux 
with cars towed by horses, dates back to 1880. The true rostral columns, 21 meters in height, facing the Garonne, were erected by Henri Louis du Hamel de Monceau in 1829. One of them symbolizes commerce, while the other stands for navigation. This monument was erected between 1894 and 1902 in memory of the Girondists, who fell victim of the Reign of Terror during the French Revolution. It's composed of a large pedestal framed with two basins, decorated with bronze horses and troops. The bronze fountains were removed during the Second World War by the German occupying army and restored in 1983. The Duke of Richelieu decided to equip the city with an opera house that was fitting of such a city and asked the architect Victor Louis to oversee the project. Started in 1773, the construction of the Grand Theatre took seven years to complete and was finished in 1780. Rohan Palace was built from 1772 to 1784 to be the place of residence of the Archbishop on the site of a more ancient building which had the same function. Things linked the lodges to a colonnade. At the end of the courtyard, a facade with a central portico dominates the ensemble with its very clean lines. The rear facade of the building is identical and is prolonged by two low pavilions with balusters, with bays mounted with garlands. On the quay sides of the left bank, you can once again drive and admire the view of the river. Restaurants and bistros have set up and are one of the attractions of the waterfront, along with the farmhouse market and the organic market. The promenade is laid out for pedestrians, cyclists and roller skaters. There are also play areas for children. This very attractive quarter, set on the banks of the Garonne, used to be very busy and wealthy, thanks to the wine trade. Here, merchants and businessmen rubbed shoulders with sailors and labourers. The Bordeaux vineyards consist of some 270,000 acres. These cover a multitude of different landscapes, from the gravely rises in the Medoc, to the low-lying hills of Sauterne, to the slopes of the entre deux -mer. In Bordeaux, on the banks of the Garonne, is the Place de la Bourse. In the centre of the square is the Fountain of the Three Graces. It replaced the statue of Louis XV, which was taken down during the Revolution. Also known as Place Royale, this is a perfect example of Bordeaux architecture at the end of the 18th century. The former Place Royale, flanked by the river and dedicated to Louis XV, was built on the order of Intendant Boucher, there's a beautiful line of archways and slate roofs. The complex of law courts is situated in the heart of the historic core of Bordeaux, near the cathedral and town hall. The building is a mix of distinct elements. The courts sit on a stone-clad plinth and are supported by concrete bases that echo the fluid forms of the timber-clad volumes above. Outside, flame-finished limestone floors run right across the site and into the building. The Cour Mabli was built in 1684 by the architect Michel Duplessis. 
As from 1886, it was renovated and transformed into the Municipal Bibliothèque. The Notre Dame Church in Bordeaux is in Place du Chapelet. It's a former Dominican chapel, built between 1684 and 1707, and a listed National Historical Monument. The Pont de Pierre was commissioned by Napoleon and finished in 1822. On the sides, each pile of bricks is capped by a white medallion in honour of the Emperor. The 486 metre long Pont de Pierre spans the Garonne with its 17 arches. It used to be a toll bridge, but in 1861 the town bought it and since then it's been free. The saint Eloy Gate became the city's belfry in the 15th century. The big bell came to regulate the inhabitants' lives and would ring in major events. This magnificent gate is 135 feet tall and is crowned with a golden leopard-shaped weather vane, a remnant from the British period. It calls to mind the 13th century, a time when cities had to protect themselves with defensive fortifications. The Kailau Gate was built in the 15th century and commemorates Charles VII's victory at Fornu in 1495. The gate used to be one of the main entries to the city. It's one of the two city gates that was unharmed by Tony's attack in the 18th century. It was the gate great personalities used to enter the city. The St. Louis de Chartron Paris was established in 1791 through a decree by the Constituent Assembly. The beautiful stained glass windows and the triple tiered nave are in Gothic style. The present day church, designed by the architect Charles Louis Braun, was completed in 1880. The facade features four buttresses that end in small steeples. Bordeaux was officially included on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites as of the 28th of June 2007. This distinction recognizes the beauty and unity of style of Bordeaux's architectural heritage, which has developed harmoniously over the centuries and remained remarkably well preserved. The Bordeaux World Heritage Site is the largest urban entity to be so honoured. It covers 1,810 hectares, or half of the city, from the outer boulevards to the banks of the Garonne.